The police shooting of a black man, a second night of tense riots breaking out in Milwaukee last night, as you can see from that video. Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark is with us, and Sheriff, I know it's just been a very tough uh, two or three days. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Uh, how did this all happen? Maybe you can just uh, first just talk us through what happened. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm used to tough, uh, I've been doing it for 38 years. Uh, look, the social order in Milwaukee totally collapsed on Saturday night. And when the social order collapsed, tribal behavior takes over. When tribal behavior takes over, the law of the jungle replaces the rule of law. And that's why you end up with, with what you saw. Last night was a little better. Not good enough for me. I won't be satisfied until these creeps crawl back into their holes so that the good law-abiding people that live in the Milwaukee ghetto uh, can return, return to at least a, a, um, a calm quality of life. Uh, Sheriff, uh, we understand that the video that was recorded on the officer's body camera sh quite, show, quite clearly shows what happened. Is that right? Well, I haven't seen the video, but I did talk to the mayor yesterday, and uh, he said he saw the video, and then it's clear that the, uh, the suspect that the officer confronted was armed with a firearm. I noticed that people are leaving that out when they say a police shot a man. They shot an armed individual this time. So it doesn't give the, the cop haters uh, the high ground on this sort of thing. But look, that's not what causes riots anyway. What causes riots are failed liberal urban policies in these ghettos like Milwaukee. Milwaukee has inescapable poverty where they're like the sixth poorest city in America. They have failing public schools. The K-12 public school system here, there's only two, one, uh, two school systems that are worse, Cleveland and Detroit. You have massive black unemployment. I think the black unemployment rate in Milwaukee is 32%. You have dysfunctional families. You have father absent homes. You have questionable lifestyle choices. Those are the ingredients for a riot. And then a police shooting comes along and just acts, acts as, as an igniter to an already volatile situation. Now look. Between Friday night and Saturday, four people were murdered in nine separate shootings. And these same creeps, we didn't hear a peep from them. But all of a sudden, a law enforcement officer, fearing for his life reasonably, is confronted by an armed individual. And these people who exploit this thing, these cop haters, want to come out and riot. This was just a situation of, of opportunity for people to steal, to loot and to uh, rabble rouse. You know, it's interesting, uh, while we always hear the bad stuff that goes on, and we're showing pictures of that now, Sheriff, I do know there were people that came out and were chanting for peace. They were carrying trash bags. They had brooms and shovels. They wanted to clean up. They must be just as sick of this as you are in law enforcement. Well, that's the, those are the folks that I'm talking about, the overwhelming majority of good mm. law-abiding people, you know, willing to pitch in. But you know what? They feel helpless at, at a time like this. Because this, you know, like I said, this tribal behavior takes over, and then you have this upheaval and this chaos. Uh, I'm from this city. I've been here my whole life. I feel for these individuals. Yeah, they might be poor. They might be uneducated, undereducated. They might be uh, unemployed, but they're good law-abiding people, and they need help. But they're not getting it from this Democrat, liberal class of politicians who have reigned over this thing for decades. Like I said... The economic state of Milwaukee today wasn't like this when I was growing up as a kid here. There were plenty of opportunities. The schools were good. People were employed. This happened over time under their watch, pushing the growth of the welfare state. And now in Milwaukee, we have a growing underclass. And what you saw this weekend were those underclass uh, behaviors on display. Well, Sheriff, we hope very much that things are a lot quieter and calmer tonight. But we also thank you very much for taking the time out and what has been a difficult time to speak with us. And we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much.